Hey guys! <laughs> We're in it now. Welcome now to we... day three of the Disney vlogs. I'm Hillary so and I got up, and Maureen from Glitter and Groceries <gasps> and Kelly from Dixie Debutantes are here. Daughter, mother. If you watch us, you probably watch them already, but they are amazing. Kelly was just telling us that um, they came to hang out with us the last time they were here, and she brought a gun because she didn't know if we were crazy or not. I have a permit. She didn't bring it for that reason. No, I brought it because, you know, traveling and stopping and... Yeah. yeah. I was just joking. No, Whatever. Olive Garden. Pasta, though. Hillary and I have never been to the Olive Garden, so we're really excited. Never been? Never no. been. They've never been. How do you guys say it? Ben. Never been. Never, Never been. been there. Never been. What do you think of the breadsticks? It's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited though. So we're just talking about like other YouTubers in a nice way, but we were talking. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> we were talking about some of the sponsored videos have gotten out of control. Like for Audible, you were saying Give like. Code, it's down below. I love reading audiobooks. Yeah. Like my you love thing. reading audiobooks? Hey. No, I just hate that it's like they try to make some elaborate storyline for the first like 10 minutes of the video. So they're like, I was like on a flight and like it was really noisy and like there are all these kids screaming or whatever. And like I hate reading like in normal situations, but like you know what's perfect for that? Like audiobooks though. Yeah. And it's like just check out the code below, like you're welcome in advance. And it's like, no though. <laughs> I wonder how much money they've actually made off of that because it's like, no. I just feel like they just say, just tell them what it is and if they want to use it, use the code below. But don't have like a 10 minute video about no. you getting ready for a big night out and listening to your audio book. Because <laughs> well, no one cares. Maybe they're listening to Penthouse Letters. They get on. <laughs> now that's an audio book. There you go. Much you, better than Fifty Shades of Grey. Can you imagine, imagine the actual creeps who wrote into that were reading them? It's like, dear penthouse letters. I was like, Ew! I was watching Jillian yeah. at home on YouTube. Ew! Ew! <laughs> I always thought they made them up, but I guess it might be like real creeps from like jail. I bet it they're all in jail, just writing creepy fantasies. Boys, you have an active fantasy if you've written a penthouse letters, let us know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Comment below if yeah. you've ever written a penthouse letters or know someone who has, because that's juicy. Like, if you want to hear an audiobook about that, <laughs> <laughs> links down below. Use the code Hillary, though, <laughs> for like 5% off. You're welcome in advance. We are in Target, and I completely forgot what an American Target was like. This is so intense. Look at the size of this place. Kelly thinks I'm a hillbilly because I'm just like, oh my gosh, they've got all the Maybelline. People, okay, so I saw this and I want this. I didn't even want it. And then Kelly was like, you would look like such a redneck if you got this. And I was like, now I kind of want it. She's trying to attract a southern man. So. Are these that bad? Yeah. What's so terrible about them? Well, it's a cheap, yeah. it's a cheap it's American tacky. flag bikini. It's cheap. But I personally like it with the take fives, the Oreos, the Cinnabon pepper charm cookies. <laughs> they do a haul. You can the chewy brownie bill cookies. I think that it is the perfect combination for anyone's Orlando vacation. Totally. It's <laughs> like the bikini and snack food for when you're on yes. your way to your C-section. Oh, and section. then don't forget the Diet Pepsi. Wild Cherry Diet Pepsi to wash it all down with. We don't have that at home, to be fair. Maybe I'll leave the bikini. Hey guys, we brought Kelly Marie back to the room. Hey guys, to I'm just about to open up the gift though. <laughs> no, it just looks like a meth head lives in here right now because it's a mess. What do you mean, Kelly got me a little gift? It's, uh, you're making a really big deal out of nothing. Well, <laughs> you're a big deal and you're not nothing. Aw, thank you. And your new search. Thank I you so it. much. So Oh, I love that. Thank you, Kelly. You're very welcome. Kelly got me a book about Jesus. <laughs> it's a devotional. Yeah. Well, like I said, I have it and I enjoy it, so I thought you might enjoy it. Oh, then I know I'll like that. Julian just gave us gifts. They're All from both of us. Yeah, just FYI. Julian and Hillary. Gave us gifts. So I'm gonna open this. Yeah. Oh, loving this. Loving this. Oh my god, okay. I'm really Maureen excited. is trying ketchup yes. chips, which are amazing. Ooh. But let's see what she thinks. It's a smell. I want to taste from here. We don't love them, but like Canadians are all about these. Canadians love them though. They're a really odd menstrual cycle color. Mm. Your face says it all. Alright, ready? Ooh. 
tastes just like ketchup. You said it doesn't taste like ketchup. To me, it doesn't taste like ketchup. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. It smells like ketchup, that's for sure. But I used to eat ketchup raw, though, oh, when I was a kid. Remember oh. that? I used to, like, put ketchup in bread and be like, mm, ketchup sandwich, though. <laughs> oh, Remember? Those are tart. I used to love ketchup, though. Really nice. And that golden. Yay. That's a big bar. I could that. So, we're just, like, trolling Go K Cupid and getting an outside opinion of someone who doesn't live in Toronto. Um, and who isn't related to Jill, because I'm much more cruel. Like, I'll be like, no, no, no. And these guys are, like, really friendly about it. Yeah. Ew, he's not really that cute. <laughs> Whoa. Time to take out the trash. This guy's a 94% match. He looks like a burger. Eh? Nomadic. He's a nomadic adventurer. Sick. They all say that. No, they all just brutal. are like, I like, can't be held down, though. Like, nomad, like, traveling. I would though. love it if they were honest and they were like, I'm terrified of being alone with my thoughts. So I stay in a state of constant movement and readiness. Yeah, it's true. true. Lacking stability in my early years, I've made it a point to spend my entire life okay, on Airbnb. Obviously, he's never seen um, Deliverance. <laughs> Airbnb! Oh my Message me if you're that shy girl that always gets overlooked. Okay, no. You love watching and playing sports. He's gonna hit it and quit it. That's what yeah. that means. You have shy and overlooked? What the hell is the matter with these people? That's you should the message quit, me girl. if you're insecure and have low expectations. <laughs> <laughs> this was taken in like, like 1991. Early... I'm sorry. No. Totally. This guy is clearly in a photograph this from the 90s and has been scanned in. This guy's at Ew. least 10 years old. Woob. In this photo. <laughs> No. No. Six things I could never do without going to the gym, I guess. That's not six things. I just asked Kelly which of us <laughs> is more southern, and she said it's me. Because I'm, I'm more, an expert on yeah. all things southern living in Florida. She is, though, and I'm more like genteel. And Hillary's You've taken more a while like... to develop your genteel side, though. <laughs> My gentility? You're pretty brutal. We're really bummed that we can't go to the parks because we're mm. going to playlist. So we have to conserve our bondage. Yeah. So if anyone's like looking to stalk Kelly and Maureen, Don't be a play Playlist though. Live is the time to do it. The girls are packing up to go. Bye though. Yeah. We're gonna miss these guys. Where's my cellular device? They're the best. Check out their channels. They're... If you guys want to purchase our t-shirts, link below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we had the best time. Check out both of their channels because they're the best. I'll link them below for real. <laughs> now it's just you and me though. Ugh. Ugh. Get away from Love you though. <laughs> that was so, so much fun. I am so glad that Maureen and Kelly came and visited. We are so blessed to have lovely friends like them who will come and visit us. It takes like very special people um, to like make it easy to be able to say like, we're not gonna spend a day in the parks, we're gonna spend a day with our friends because it's like, they have to be people who are like more fun than an amusement park and Maureen and Kelly definitely are. We laughed so much, we had the best time. So thank you guys for coming and visiting. Be sure to go visit their channels. I will link them down below. Hillary, do you want to say anything else to Maureen and Kelly? Bye, though. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, it was sad to see them go, but it was like the perfect way to kick off the trip. Now we're going to order a pizza. Yes, bitch. Hillary today posted a photo on Instagram, and I really, really like it. She posted a photo of herself in a bikini, and it's just like, this is what a like woman looks like. This is what women look like, and I just love it. You want to share it with everyone? On her Instagram, at, it's Hillary, though. Now we're focused, but it's just like, this is what a human being looks like, and you look really great, and I think it was nice that you did that. Um, I captioned it, love your body even when you get fat, which is true, though. You're not, like, well, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to say you're not fat, because the truth is there's nothing wrong with somebody being fat. Like, yeah. bottom line, you look great, and it's, like, refreshing to see a photo of a girl looking cute and, like, comfy with herself, and her body looks adorable. So I think that was awesome, and I love you, though. Well, I was just like, it is what it is, you know? And, like, as women, it would be good to see us, like, show what our actual bodies look like. Not, like, fully, but, like, <laughs> it's, like, uh, especially on Instagram, because it's... And also, I love that you're, like, shooting an up angle that I probably look atrocious on. So... <laughs> 
Speaking of like real life, like, no, my thing is this, especially on Instagram, when you see all these videos of like models and girls with like blatant eating disorders and whatever, it's like once in a while, we should at least have someone pop up that isn't like starving and like really hungry though. Yeah. So I just kind of did it. And still, respect, because we know there are people with different body shapes. Like, there are plenty of women who are really thin, and they look great, too. But they're really well represented already. So I think it's more about diversity versus not skinny. Yeah. I'm the fattest I've ever been. Like, I've lost, like, 7 pounds or something, or 10 pounds, I don't know. But, like... You know, it's one of those, weight is one of those things that some days you're cool with it, some days you're not, and the older you get, sometimes, like, your body just changes, and I don't know. I don't think it was monumental or anything like that, but it was interesting to see which people liked that photo on my Facebook, because it was people, like, I haven't seen or talked to in years, who the last time they would have seen me... I would have been a lot thinner. So I was like, well, there's still humanity out there, folks. So I don't know. Maybe you might not be that comfortable to do something like that. But I think it's good when women, when we can, like, see each other's bodies in a non-threatening and non, like, creepy way. <laughs> where it's just seeing a, a real person. So anyway, this is getting boring, but. Love you guys. Love you guys. Um, on the topic of being comfortable with yourself, sometimes, I mean, I'm dieting, but on vacation, I need to let myself, like, enjoy myself. And at Target today with Maureen and Kelly, I got a million different types of cookies that I'll be sharing with you guys throughout the trip. But a Pepperidge Farm cinnamon bun? Whoa, though. Uh, this is my new favorite cookie. I've only had two bites, and I was blown away. Let me try it. You want to try it? Yeah. You're going to explode. Let's trade. Okay, relax, homie. I'm not even faking this enthusiasm. Like, it is so real. Whoa, though. Try you're not even going to believe it. Whoa, though. Right? Whoa. Tastes like America. Uh, that, if I could only eat one cookie for the rest of my life, it would be this. That's pretty unbelievable. Americans, get on this. And Pepperidge Farm Canada, actually never ever sell these because <laughs> I will be, I'll Brilliant. give myself a heart attack at the age of 30. P.S. Who's not surprised that Hillary's watching a TV show dedicated to murder? There are like five different murder networks on TV here, so you can choose from a variety of shows about murder. I love Florida. This is my usual like nighttime hairstyle, which many of you will have seen. I find as long as I put my hair up into two tiny little buns on the top of my head, it'll curl appropriately. Tune into tomorrow's vlog to see if that's the case. TBD, we're going to Hollywood Studios tomorrow. I'm so excited. But anyway, to get back to the topic at hand, my hair, um, <laughs> Hillary and I were looking at this, and I remembered these commercials that used to air on Canadian television, and it would feature, like, DJ Chris Shepard of Pirate Radio Sessions. And I was like, we need to find a photo of this guy, and I found it and I'm like so excited that I finally like understand the subconscious inspiration for this look. There he is. Looking like a mouse just like me though. He was part of the Canadian pop trio slash sensation Love Inc. Do you have anything to say to everyone? Night though. Yeah, good night. It's time to go bed, though. Are you excited for... 35, though. Are you excited for Hollywood Studios tomorrow? No. Why? I hate Hollywood Studios. Jill loves it. Jill gets her little scary rides that I'm too much of a wuss for. So I usually, like, get it Sunday or something and, like, sit in the shade. Well, <laughs> let's see how we feel tomorrow. I think it's going to be a nice, slow-paced kind Star of a day. Uh, oh, my gosh. Star Tours, though. I don't know if we'll... Last time... Watch our last <laughs> vlogs, but, like, the last time we were here, I kind of chickened out and didn't want to do it because I knew I was going to be too nauseous for it. 
And I was like, oh no, though. And okay, then I, I sat it out, and Hillary went on, and I she came okay. out looking green. I think I had my eyes open for like 15 seconds, maybe, of the entire thing. Because I get like terrible motion sickness. So, tune in tomorrow to see if we end up on Star Tours. Night, though. <laughs> Bye, guys.